Chimu Adventures came to me with the idea of doing a trip to Antarctica that also doubled as a fundraiser for Love Your Sister and the Garvin Institute of Medical Research. I basically just went completely nuts. Love Your Sister is the kind of coolest, most colourful charity to hit the breast cancer scene in the last five years. We're kind of an independent mob that really promote uh, the idea of checking your boobs. But we also fundraise for the Garvin Institute of Medical Research. They pioneered the drug the tamoxifen that is keeping my sister alive. I've had but dreams of um, making it to Antarctic kids since I was 11. Um, I, I became really obsessed. I just developed this theory that Mawson must have eaten all his friends as well. And also, I was an aspiring photographer as a kid and I had heard that it was impossible to photograph snow, so I was keen to take up that challenge. There's something about the place, you know, it's the place where the voices aren't. It's also a place that I think we're not going to be able to enjoy for too much longer. What is it about Antarctica? I like the kind of otherness of it. It's very otherworldly, very astral. Given that we can't yet fly into outer space, this is the closest I think we get. So we are in both the nursery of our world. So much of the food and currents and they've got to come down the short houses. Shush. I'm just starting. Yeah. Um, okay. You're waxing a little philosophical there, darling. That's all I'd say. It's well, good. It's not as good as Lithgow. There, there's a short one for you. I'm the wildlife there for one. You are in their place. They don't much care about or for you, uh, as long as you don't tread on them, which you're not allowed to anyway. They'll just get on with their business. Nothing's running away from you, nothing's scared. You go around an iceberg and just the different levels of blue and green. The water is teeming, the sky is full. I mean, they're just these huge, millions of penguins. Million, well, they look like millions. Do you notice how we dress like penguins today? We're all black and white. Yeah. This is a tribute to them. What's the collective name for a penguin? Penguin? Oh, the collective down. Yeah. Penguin. Um, uh, um. So much is there, and that's the joy of it. And also because you never know from one hour to the next, let alone day to the next, what's going to happen. It's it's that rare adventure where whatever the itinerary is, it may not be what happened. Yeah, and to go to a place in the world where your rich does not run, where mankind does not rule, quite apart from what you see, is a an extraordinary idea that I'm just visiting here. So if I go, I'm, I, I'm going to totally understand and accept my complete irrelevance. Yes, and it's so satisfying. It's a yeah. bit like being at the Logan. <laughs> I will be taking my unicycle, yes, and I'm challenging um, our love your sister mates, which is a big mob, uh, to throw a coin in the can if they want me to do a K. If it is something that you really do want to do, that you're excited by, that's going to challenge you, that's a once in a lifetime opportunity, then grow a set and give us a call. A suit of penguins? They should be a flock because they are birds. No, a flock's too boring. Well, it's one the penguins. But that's what it is. No, a tuxedo? No, a, 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 a rabble because they're an incredible noise. You go to a penguin colony. Yeah. Wow! <laughs>